Well, you know the old saying, you can't take it with, with you, and perhaps no one understood that better than Bob Hampton, the Taft businessman, philanthropist, and public servant who passed away Wednesday at the age of 82. Hampton didn't take anything with him. He left it all here for the rest of us. Here's 17's Robert Price. How much can any of us really do as individuals to make this big, complicated world a better place? Bob Hampton had an answer, all that you can. Hampton ran a highly successful business, Westside Waste Management, a refuse collection company. But his success was everyone's success, especially those who lived in Hampton's hometown of Taft. He personally led, and often generously funded, many community and civic projects from community cleanups to fireworks shows. He was one of the forces behind the Taft Oil Worker Monument and the Westside Healthcare Foundation, Taft's primary healthcare facility. Everything he touched came out a little better than it was before he got there. But Hampton retained humor and modesty. Here's Taft Mayor Dave Knorr. There was a, a humility that was probably his cornerstone and it was a critical component of everything that he was and he was so good uh, so adept and so valuable in so many different aspects of life but humility was was probably one of the things that that carried through no matter what he did or where he was right for hampton a good education was vital he served many years on the Kern high school district board of trustees and led the formation of the taft college foundation sherry horn bunk who runs the foundation says hampton did so much for taft college just to name one he helped start the college's dental hygiene program, today one of its biggest successes. Hampton, she said, was a Taft guy through and through, starting with his athletic exploits. His grandmother raised him in Taft and he played basketball for Taft High School and then he came and he played basketball for Taft College. And the, and the coach there knew the coach at USC and said, Bob, you know, you're, you're really pretty good. You might be able to get a scholarship at USC. Well, long story short, he got one, and he went to USC and he played basketball there. And a couple of Hollywood producers discovered him, and he was in had small parts in the movie Flubber and the Son of Flubber, playing basketball. <laughs> and um, so Bob Bob has done so much and been such a a contributor to Taft College, and I I will miss him so much. Hampton was inducted into both the Taft Union High School and Taft College Hall of Fames as well as the Bob Elias Hall of Fame. He became a high school teacher and coach before switching to the waste management business in 1983. He owned the building on Kern Street in Taft that was home to the Taft Chamber of Commerce, which operates there rent-free. The more you give, the more you receive. But you don't give in order to receive, because if you do, you put up a wall that prevents it from coming your way. You give in order to receive. And that principle, gee, it just uh, involves every part of your, your life. Yeah. Former Bakersfield City Councilman Mark Salvaggio says that Bob Hampton epitomized the adage, a gentleman is a gentleman everywhere. You'll get no argument from anyone in Taft or anywhere in Kern County. 17 News, Robert Price. Mm, wow. Boy, Bob Hampton, class act. He will be sorely missed. Mm -hmm.